Hi everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and in today's video we're looking at this gun here. This is an Air Arms S400F and although variations of this gun have featured on the channel a couple of times before, this is the only one so far where the gun is completely stock. This is available from my friends at Crackshot and Eric and his colleagues have it up at £525 and the gun is in exemplary condition, it's absolutely mint. There's not a scratch on it that I can see and from what you're about to see soon in the data it shoots unbelievably. These guns are famous in my opinion. If you read about any sort of air rifle on a forum or speak to people it's not very long until someone mentions this gun, the Air Arms S400 and I can see why. It's super easy to use and it is unbelievably accurate and I don't mean just for the price okay this gun easily outshoots things that are three to four times as expensive So let me give you a quick walkthrough and a bit of a rundown. So it has, and it will come with the fill probe, so all you need to do is undo the end bit here, attach it and you fill it up. I have found, because this is an unregulated gun, that a little under 200 bar down to about mm, maybe 140 is roughly the sweet spot. It has a Air Arms developed Lothar Walther barrel and it is a single shot tray kind of inspired gun so all you do is pull the bolt back you would feed a pellet in close it just going to make sure it's all safe it is unloaded and you're good to go it's virtually impossible for me to say anything negative about this gun when I read stuff on forums people say that air arms are slow to catch up I don't believe that is the case I think that they're way ahead of the game from many gun manufacturers and what the, what it is that they're doing and the fact that this gun is 20 years old in terms of its um, design it's famous for a reason okay it's that good because it's a single shot tray uh, it lends itself to shooting accurately you take your time and there's less mechanics to get in the way or to deform the pellet or something like that so what you're about to see now is me shooting this gun at 30 excuse me not 30 meters 40 50 and 60 meters I'll speed up the footage because seeing me unload it and put in a single shot, it takes a long time. So I'll speed that up and we can look at some of the groupings in a moment. Let's have a look at that data now. So the first one at 40 meters, really happy with that. That's a hole that's around the size of a 5p piece. I'm really happy with that. If we look at 50 meters, now I had to use a little bit of um, skill, I suppose, in finding the correct holdover, but again, that's a good group. And finally, the one that I'm most pleased with is the one at 60 meters. I think that is an unbelievable group. 
There is a flyer there, but it happens. I was just using unsorted, unweighed QIS pallets. I, I can't offer a criticism of this gun. If you were really twisting my arm, I might say something like it would be nice to have more than around 80 shots. It might be nice if um, this was a bidextrous stock, but really I'm reaching here. It's almost impossible for me to say anything valid in terms of a critique of this gun. If you were looking to get in to air rifle shooting and you had 525 pounds to spend, I'd recommend this every single day of the week. It would obviously come with a warranty from the boys at Crackshot, which would, uh, is six months. And if you weren't able to get down to Devon and you wanted this gun in particular, you've now seen it being shot in a real life scenario. So you could also talk to them to organize an RFD transfer to an RFD local to you. Give them a call and speak to them to talk about organizing that. This is just a stock gun. There's been no modifications on it. I haven't cleaned the barrel. The first pallets that I used were the QIS and they did a outrageous job. That's it for this video. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.